A few weeks ago, Jeff from the Weekend DIYer threw down a challenge to build a garden bench. You know what, Jeff? I love a challenge. Let's do it. Let's go have some fun. Welcome to the White Lab Workshop. I'm Brent, and for this challenge, I looped in my wife, Amy, from the White Lab House to come up with a design. She found something she liked on Pinterest, and I made a quick sketch to keep track of my dimensions. This garden bench is gonna live indoors rather than actually out in the garden. So it's more of a garden inspired bench. So I use construction lumber instead of something more rot resistant. If you like this design and want to build one for outdoor use, I'd suggest using something like Western Red Cedar for more durability. My favorite part of this project was teaming up with one of my shop buddies who's here with me to describe what we did. Hi, I'm the shop buddy. This design is simple and only calls for three different lengths that can be cut from three two by fours. The top is made from three pieces cut at 46 inches. We picked out the best looking sections of boards for the top because that's what you see first. Measured out four pieces at 17 and a half inches for the vertical sections of leg assemblies. My dad set up a stop lock for me and I made the cuts. So I guess it was we after all. Not least, we did the horizontal sections of the leg assemblies, four pieces at 10 inches. For the leg assemblies, I wanted to get rid of the construction lumber edges to make cleaner connections with the joints. I took off one edge, then set up for a 3 inch rip for the other edge. If you like me and love watching and doing woodworking, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to keep watching my awesome self and I guess my dad too. I just had to sweep up the sawdust off the table saw because it's too satisfying to not do it. I can't be the only one, right? Pointy finger emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I 
wanted a stable leg assembly, so I opted for using my tenoning jig to cut rabbits to use for lap joints. I set the saw blade to slightly less than the width of the jointed piece. I'll clean out that last extra little bit with that second cut. I wanted to make a cut in the middle of the board, but my tenoning jig came up just a touch shy of letting me do that. It was good enough for me though. After the tenoning jig, out comes the crosscut sled to finish cutting out the rabbit. I use the adjoining piece to measure so that the outside of the blade lines up with the outside of the piece. Then I set my stop lock. As I said at the top of the video, this challenge came from Jeff over at the Weekend DIYer. Jeff is a good dude who shares his wide range of DIY projects aimed at hobbyists and DIYers out there. I'll leave a link to his video below so you can see where this challenge came from and give Jeff some well-deserved support. I wanted to make sure I didn't overdo the depth on either of the cuts, so I cleaned up the joints with a chisel. So now that the boring stuff is out of the way, now it's time to get to everyone's favorite part of woodworking, sanding! So I made my dad step out of the way so I could handle the fun part. Since I do all the work around here, my dad made me mark three-fourths of an inch at the end of the wood so we know where the screws go because we plan to leave the screws showing. <laughs> there we go. Now you just have to hold it. The whole time. <laughs> I didn't even to glue the leg assemblies. We glued them, clamped them, and screwed them into place.
<laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> there we go. For the top pieces, my dad positioned them as evenly and squarely as he could. Then he pre-drilled and screwed them down. My dad tested it out with a super awkward sit and wiggle test, followed by a loud clap. For the finish, my wife wanted a two-tone look, so I took it apart again and gave the leg assemblies a coat of a nice and dark stain. We're still trying to decide what to put on it for a final sealing coat, probably some water-based poly. And boom, a garden bench. Thanks again to Jeff at the Weekend DIYer for challenging me to build this bad boy. I hope you had as much fun watching this build as my daughter and I did filming and editing it. In the spirit of keeping the challenge going, I'm gonna reach across the pond and challenge my buddy Sean in the shed over in the UK. Sean, let's see what you come up with for a garden bench. Let us know how we did with this one by leaving a comment below. And if you like these simple builds for around the house, we've queued up a playlist for you to check out. We'll see you over there! Bye! <laughs>